Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we can explicitly cast a value from one data type to another using static casts. So I'm going to start off by declaring an integer variable named cookies and I'm going to give it a value of 4 and I'm going to declare another variable called kids and I'm going to give it a number 8. So I'm going to then have a float value called share and this is to calculate how many cookies each kid gets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide cookies by the number of kids so we can know how many cookies each child or each kid gets. Then I'm going to display a message to the screen and I'm going to say each kid gets um, and going to display the share and cookies okay uh, yep and end the line okay so based on this div division um, normally if I've got four cookies and eight kids then each kid is going to get half a cookie and I've got a float variable um, called share and I'm dividing two integers together now because this is an integer, that's an integer, so uh, the division here happens between two integers and with integer division there's going the, the decimals are going to be lost. Therefore, although this is a float, but it will still be zero. So let's see what we get when we compile this program and, and run it. Okay, so here we are getting each kid gets zero cookies because this is doing four divided by eight, um, which is pretty much half. But because this is an integer division, so the value is going to be rounded or let's say uh, the, the decimals are lost, which is the point five, leaving us with just a zero. So this can be solved um, by we could without changing any of the data types. So if I've changed any of these into a float, then this shouldn't be a problem here. But say that I don't want to change the data types here. I just want to explicitly cast this one and tell the compiler co convert this to a float. So I can do that using explicit casting. And I'm going to use specifically a static cast for this. So I'm going to use static cast. And... I'm going to have to um, to specify the type that I want um, the conversion to be converted to. So I want this value to be converted into a float. And it is important to put parentheses here. Okay, so um, this is pretty much it. So here what we are saying is explicitly cast this value to a float. And now I'm going to compile and run and I should be getting a 0.5. That is the correct answer. So yes, this is it. Each kid gets a 0.5 cookie. Well, it should be cookie, not cookies, because it is less than one, less than one cookie. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.